Hey, I'm Adam Jusko from ProudMoney.com. Vantage scores scored a big victory yesterday versus FICO, and it could shake up the credit scoring industry and impact you in multiple ways permanently. We're going to talk about that, but first I'm going to ask you to please subscribe to this YouTube channel if you've not already, and if you have already, I thank you for doing so. So yesterday, a government agency that oversees housing and mortgage stuff within the government essentially cut Vantage score into the deal when it comes to supplying credit scores for a ton of mortgage loans that could be purchased by a couple government-backed agencies. Now this is, and we'll get into this, but this is something where FICO has had basically a monopoly in terms of supplying credit scores for mortgage loans for a very long time, and this is something that has helped them not only dominate mortgage loans, but also probably dominate a lot of other industries because many of these lenders have used FICO for their mortgage loans and then of course it just becomes easy to use FICO across the board. So this is a big victory for Vantage Score and how this will play out in terms of shaking up the credit scoring industry we'll talk about. All right, so this is tough to explain, but I'm gonna do my best. So there are two government-backed enterprises that are nicknamed Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. Their official names are like the federal housing, whatever, whatever. So Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac exist to help the mortgage industry put more people into homes as homeowners. And the way that works in practice is that if you are a mortgage lender somewhere, if you can find people that want a mortgage who meet certain requirements that Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac have set forth, then you can give that person a mortgage loan and then you can sell that mortgage to Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac essentially immediately take all the profit, lose all the risk of having given that mortgage, and then you can even lend to more people. So it's attractive to lenders because they get rid of their risk, they make a profit quickly. Now, when it comes to the credit score over all of the history since Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac have existed pretty much, they have required a FICO score when it comes to looking at what the person might qualify for, whether they meet the standard or not. So FICO has had pretty much a monopoly on providing credit scores to all of these lenders that want their loans to be bought by Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. All right, so hopefully you are still with me. If you don't know what FICO and Vantage score is, that is a topic for a whole other video. I'm assuming you have that sort of base knowledge as far as this video goes. So anyway, the uh, government agency that actually oversees Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, the agency that decides what that minimum credit score should be, what the maximum loan amount should be for lenders if they want to sell to Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, they changed the rules yesterday and they said that in the future, if you are a lender that wants to sell your mortgage to Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac, you are going to have to use not only FICO scores, but also Vantage scores. So you're gonna to have to get the FICO scores and Vantage scores from your applicants if you wanna be able to sell the mortgage loan to Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac, which means all of a sudden Vantage score has become like a 50% player in this humongous mortgage market where before they had been completely shut out. Now the announcement said this was going to be a multi-year process, so there's no hard and fast deadline as to when these lenders are going to have to use both scores. We just know that it's going to be happening eventually. But anyway, when they do have to use both scores, the specific models that they're going to be using are FICO 10T, standing for trending, or Vantage Score 4.0, I shouldn't say, or I should say, and Vantage Score 4.0. Now, what is being used today is FICO 5, five, four, and two in making mortgage lending decisions if a uh, lender is selling to Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. So there is going to be a big update in terms of the uh, credit scores that are being used on the FICO end, and then obviously Vantage score adding a new wrinkle as well. Now, if you've hung with me so far, you might be saying, well, who cares? I'm not gonna get a mortgage in the future, or maybe I don't care if it's FICO and Vantage score, or just FICO or just Vantage score, any of it. Well, it still could impact you. Number one, if you are going to get a mortgage in the future, well, then this supposedly with the update to the FICO model used and then Vantage score being added into the mix, this is supposed to make it easier for more people to qualify for mortgage loans because they are more accurate risk assessment models that are being used on these mortgage loans versus these very old FICO models. And then they're also supposed to be able to bring in other things 
things that maybe would not be in the older models, things like rent and utilities and phone bills, any of that kind of stuff. Now, those things still have to be reported to be part of your uh, credit score, but in the past, they were not part of the deal at all. So the idea is that more people are gonna be able to qualify for mortgage loans with these new standards. Now, the second part of this is a little fuzzier, and it's hard to know exactly how this will play out, and that is the fact that Vantage Score, for the most part, has been sort of this thing that a lot of lenders have ignored. It was created by the three uh, major credit reporting bureaus, TransUnion, Experian, and Equifax, as a challenger to FICO, but for the most part, it hasn't really been something that has caught on with most lenders. Yes, you can get a free Vantage Score from a lot of different sources on the internet, but when it comes to the actual lenders that are making decisions on your applications, it has been largely FICO that they are using, and probably a big part of the reason that they've always used FICO, besides the fact that FICO has actually started the idea of credit scoring, is the fact that FICO has had a monopoly on the mortgage market. So for a lot of lenders, if they do mortgages and they do auto loans and they do credit cards and other types of loans, if they're already forced to use FICO for mortgages, they're just going to use FICO for everything else. And so there was no reason to really experiment with Vantage Score or to use Vantage Score in any way. So for a lot of lenders, it's just sat out there. But now, if they are forced to use Vantage Score in their mortgage decisions, well, then they become more comfortable with it. They start looking at it closer, and then maybe they start thinking, well, is it possible that we could get this cheaper than FICO for credit cards, for auto loans, for other loans? And then maybe there's a little competition there between those two. Now, on the surface, that doesn't seem like it has anything to do with you, but in a way it does because it means that in the future, while now we think FICO is the uh, credit score that's being used for the vast majority of loan decisions, in the future that very much could be a 50-50 split where anytime you are going after any new loan, you're not even sure beforehand whether it's going to be FICO or Vantage Score or in the case of a lot of mortgages, both. Now in terms of the core principles when it comes to a credit score, those aren't really going to change. You still are going to want to pay your bills on time. You're still going to want to not have too much debt. You're still going to want to make sure you're not opening too many different uh, loans and credit cards in a short period of time. So none of that is really going to change. If you're someone that's doing the right things to get a good credit score, you're going to have a good credit score, whether it's any FICO model or any Vantage score model. But if you're someone that sometimes looks at all your different things and says, well, what's the credit card company going to use? Are they going to use my experience? FICO 8 or are they going to use my uh, Equifax Vantage Score 3 or whatever because you are thinking that maybe the difference in credit score from one to the next is going to somehow matter. Maybe you're on the bubble between whether you think you're going to get approved or not. It's going to be much harder to figure out how things might play out because if lenders have to use both or if they can choose not only from FICO but also from Vantage Score and they can even use multiple models within FICO or Vantage Score, it's going to be harder to predict what's going to happen. I wish I had more concrete information on what it is all going to mean, but I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. Otherwise, I thank you for watching, and as always, go to proudmoney.com, where we do credit card reviews, we talk personal finance, we talk deals, and all sorts of other stuff. If you're not going to leave a comment or go to the website, watch this video.